Hi, Sean Kennedy here from the YouTube channel Java SE Certification Training. In this video, I would like to look at Enthuware question 2.963, which is taken from their using loop constructs section. So in this particular question here, we're given the following code snippet, a for loop, where i is set to int1, i less than int2, i plus plus, and we output i. Int1 and int2 can be any two integers. Which of the following will produce the same result? So the best way to approach this type of question is to actually plug in two values for int1 and int2, see what your output is, and then do the same thing here. Plug in 1 and plug in 3, for example. They're the two values I'm going to work with, and see do you get the same output. So we'll have a look at that now. So over here, you can see the code, 2.963, and now over here, I have written out the code. So if, as I was saying, I'm going to plug in two values for int1 and int2, basically 1 and 3 respectively, we'll see what the output is that I get. So it starts at 1, less than 3, that's OK. And then I'll put i, which is 1. Then we increment i, and it goes to 2. 2 less than 3, that's OK. We output 2. Then we increment i to 3 i less than uh, into 2, no, 3 is not less than 3, so we fail. So we get 1, 2 from our output. And what we've got to do is we've got to examine each of these loops to see do we get 1 and 2 based on the same values that I've just plugged in up here. So now we'll have a look at the first one. So we'll have a look at the first one, which I've just written up here i is set to int1, i less than int2, and then the third part, the increment decrement part, if you like, is actually a method invocation, which is allowed. So what we're doing here is we're outputting the pre-increment value of i. So it's starting out at 1, 1 less than 3, that's okay, and then we output the pre-increment value of i, so i gets incremented to 2, and then we output 2. So we're wrong straight away. We're looking for 1, 2. We'll follow it through anyway. 2 less than 3, yes. Output the pre-increment value, 3. Then it goes back to here. 3 less than 3, no, that's false. And now we'll go and we'll have a look at the second one. And I'll just write that up. So here it is here i has been initialized to int 1, i++ plus plus less than int 2. So that's i less than int 2, and that's true or false as to whether you go in and do the loop, and then you post increment your i. So 1 less than 3 is correct, we go in and do the loop, and then i gets incremented to 2. So therefore, we output 2 when we get to there. Then we come back and we compare 2 less than 3, that's correct. And then we post increment to 3, and then we output 3. Then we check 3 less than 3, that's false. So you end up with 2 and 3, so that doesn't give you 1 and 2 either. So now we'll go and we look at the third one, and I'll just go and write it up. Okay, so I've written it out here. This time it's a while loop, but it's actually very similar to the second one. But it's while i++ plus plus is less than int 2. We're comparing the value of i, which is 1, less than 3. And that's true, obviously. Then we post increment i to 2. So we output 2. Then we go back up, compare 2, less than 3, correct. Then post increment i to 3. And then we output 3. Then we compare 3, less than 3. Well, that's false. And out we go. So we get 2, 3 for this version, number 3, and that's wrong as well. We're looking for a 1 and 2. So we'll look at the next one, and I'll just write it out. So this is a do while loop. So i is set to 1, do, and I'll put the value of i, which is 1. Then while i++ is less than int 2, which is 3. So it's a post increment, so compare the value of i less than int 2 first of all. So that's 1 less than 3, which is true. 
Uh, so we're going to go back in and do the do while loop and then we post increment i to 2. So when we come back into the loop, i is 2. So we do system.println now, i is 2. Then we go down to the while, while 2 is less than 3. Well, that's true. So we're going to go back in and do the loop, then post increment i to 3. Execute the loop, i is currently 3 now, so output 3. Do while 3 is less than 3, well that's false, and we're out. So we get 1, 2, 3 in that one, and that's not 1 and 2 either. So the last option is in fact the correct answer that none of these, none of the ones here above, actually give you the answer that you want from up here, which given the values of int 1, and int 2 being 1 and 3 respectively. We pick nice simple values for int 1 and int 2 to make it as easy as possible. That gives us 1 and 2 as output and then we just compare these loops to see do we get 1 and 2 as well and we didn't. So if you like the video please click like, subscribe if you want further videos and any comments please leave them below. Thanks very much.